Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do slightly faded text. Um, at least that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> okay, if you notice on my example text here, it has like a small fade here in the middle. Looks kind of cool. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So the first thing you want to do is pick a gradient to use. Um, just click on your color palette. You click on the gradient tab and choose your gradient. So I want to use something different. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use it. Okay. Okay. Uh, pick your font, which I'm going to be using Sweetheart Script. And write out your text, which in this case would be my name. Okay, there we go. Okay, once you have your text written out, go to Effects, 3D Effects, and go to Inner Bevel. And you're going to change your inner bevel settings to these that I have here. Uh, choose the bevel, the second bevel. The width set to 7. The smoothness set to 3. Depth, 2. Ambient, 6. Shininess, 6. Angle, 290. Intensity, 43. And elevation, 36. With the colored white. Okay, then go um, back up to effects and you're going to need the iCandy 5 plugin for this. Go up to your iCandy 5 impact and choose gradient glow. And here you want to change your settings to mines. Uh, make sure that you have your glow type inside glow, glow radius 5. Soft in corners, 100. Overall opacity, I'm choosing an 84. You can play around depending on what you want. This is what it looks like at 100, 45, depending on what you want. So I had 84. Make sure that distortion amount and distortion lump size is set to zero and the smoothness set to 100. And then your color should look something like this, which just the first little square set it to white and then on the top you click there and set the opacity to zero and then get another square over here just click and they appear and set the opacity to 100 and then you can move this to make the fade as big or as small as you want it whoops so that's pretty good for me and then just click OK. And there you go. You have your slightly faded text. Now, if you're going to be using a thicker text, a thicker font, um, the settings are going to slightly change. So let's say I'm going to use this one. Let me change the, the size. OK. OK, I'm going to use a thick font so, to show you what I mean with the same bevel settings and just go to your gradient glow okay as you can see the settings that I use for the thin font don't work too well here so what you want to do is you want to make your glow radius um, I think an 11 should work and lower your color here Okay, and your opacity is going to need more than an 11 See, it doesn't work too well with this one as it did with the other one. But you kind of see where I'm going with this. <laughs> so with every font, you just want to play around with the settings as the settings aren't always going to be the same. But 
the one thing that is going to be the same is you're only going to be changing three of the settings. So I'm going to try with this one. I know this one does it. Okay, here I know that my setting has to be set to 11. And I can just thin this out. See? And it works well. So you can just play around with it, but that's pretty much how I do it. So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask.